What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Um, my apologies. I actually was outside at the fish pond, and I was actually, it was great. It, it, it's great therapy for me to be outside at the fish pond because literally, I need it. You need something to get your blood pressure down, and watching the fish swim helps. I um, I just don't understand. Um, there's a report out. Bobby Wagner is in constant contact with, you know, Dan Quinn. If he's in constant contact with Dan Quinn, you have to think that there is an interest there to play, and something that you want is. You want people that are motivated to be there and wanting to be a part of it. It doesn't matter how good you are if you don't really give a rat's ass that you're just going through the motions. You need people that are ride or die that want to be there and want to do something. That's a big motivation that you get. And the Cowboys, who I guess we can't say it anymore, are too broke to even sign a punter. Well, we actually re-signed Brian Aguilar to a three-year, $9 million deal. So we do have enough money to pay a punter. In fact, before that deal, we were second most in salary cap. And that's even before we add in the $10 million that we get from Lyle Collins. Now, this may be gamemanship. Uh, this is my only hope. And, and I literally... Maybe I am that delusional Dallas Cowboy fan that I want to believe in what the team is trying to do. I, I want to believe that they're not complete idiots and jackasses that just want to play with our emotion. But it seems to be that that's really the case. That they really are just playing with our emotion. Um, that literally... Stephen Jones is exactly what he says he is. He's not going to spend money on free agents. So, when we think about Zadarius Smith, who just signed with Minnesota, basically he got the deal that Randy Gregory got. You have to look at him as a more experienced, much better, less penalties, less baggage player than Randy Gregory. So you're telling me that they wouldn't offer him the same money that they offered Randy Gregory? Nope. They're never going to spend more than about $5 million for a free agent. They just aren't. That's the thing that Stephen Jones does that literally drives you crazy. And so Bobby Wagner is one of the best players that's out there. And for a multitude of reasons, he works. He works, A, because he's a great player. He's a baller. And as Stephen Jones says, well, it's not like you have pro, pro bowlers out there that you can sign. Well, that's one, perennial pro bowler. Two, he would fill a need and gives you more options to draft the best player available. Three, he's a consummate professional. Never been in trouble in his life, in his career. And can be a mentor to Micah Parsons, as well as Jabril Cox. Pass the torch down to them. Four, he loves the defensive coordinator and knows the system, so there's no learning curve whatsoever coming in there. So beyond just the dollars and cents that you see where Stephen Jones think, oh man, I look at that number, it, it's too much. Well, it's not what you spend, it's what you get out of it. You know, I bought that X carver up there. That machine right there is a lot of money. I'll be paying for it for the next two years. I could have gotten this one that was on Amazon it was cheap. It, it was cost effective, or it was a value one. But the thing is, is it only could use eighth-inch blades on it. 
it didn't have very much power. It would cut, but it would only have a work surface of 14 by 14. And more than likely, as much stuff as I've been cutting out, it'd probably be dead already. Instead of saying, hey, that one's only $1,000. That one's $12,000. Let me go with the cheap one because I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of money for the big one. The big one by comparison, not even counting the cheap one that's over there that, that you can buy on Amazon. That one is the bigger one that they sell of their ones. Had I bought one of their, you know, their, their, their X cars, the pieces that I can get cut out in two hours would take about eight hours on the other machine. The power head that's on that one is a two horsepower motor that's made to run continuously. The other one actually uses just a small trim router. And more than likely, I probably would have burned out a router already on the other one. But yeah, I mean, it'll do the job, but not in the same way. I can put a four by eight sheet of plywood on there and cut the whole thing up because it's not what you spend. It's what do you get out of it? He keeps saying, we're looking for value. Well, I hate to tell you, how much value have you gotten from all of the players? I want you to go back through all of these value pickups that Stephen Jones has done. Every one Stephen Jones value pickup that you've done. I want you to think back. How many of them do you look back and say, oh, my God, we were lucky that we picked up that guy? Because it seems like every time we've gotten somebody on the cheap, it always seems to blow up in our face. Seems like the motor wears out. Doesn't cut the big stuff. I realize we are never going to win a Super Bowl. If Stephen Jones gets in charge, if you're going to stay a Cowboy fan, understand you're never going to win a Super Bowl with him. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Well, hopefully I have sound on this one. I will catch y'all later. Peace.